Everyone in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Channel Tales. And here's the star of Channel Tales, Bert Cundy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Title Tales. Thank you for tuning us in. It's nice to have you with us today. Stay with us. We're going to have a good time. We have some wonderful people, truly, who've been on the show before and, and, and some newcomers, too. Here they are. Winning money today for the blue section, Miss Patty Duke Aston and her husband, Mr. John Aston. Ms. Yeah. Ms. Ms. Should I have said Ms. Patty Duke Aston? Or what, what, no, Mrs. will do. Miss, Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Patty Duke Aston. Yeah. That's yeah. what Ms. I meant. To I say. don't understand Ms. Ms. Unless you call Mr. 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 and Ms. Yeah, the men ought to have one too then. Yeah, you're right. Ms. A Mr. Here's Mr. John now. Right. Hello, Mr. Hi. Hey, you, you're going to do a play at the Huntington Hartford, a wonderful play. Is yes. that, is that yes, right? Yes, we are. What's the name of it? It's called Rattle of a Simple Man. Yes. It's about this girl. Yes. <laughs> 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 what? Whose play is it? Who wrote that? Uh, oh, God. R Richard Dyer. Right. Oh, yes. Thank right. you. Okay. I thought he did. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Charles Dyer. Charles Dyer. Okay. My God. At the Huntington Hartford here in Los Angeles. And his brother Angeles. Richard. No, and his brother Richard. No. Yes, it's, it's a marvelous Hartford. play. It's yeah, a we're really looking play. forward to it. I know. I will be looking forward to seeing you, in, uh, seeing you in that. The blue section right. is looking forward to you winning the money. Looking forward to winning money for the banana section today will be Tiana and her husband, Sterling Sillifan. <laughs> A hearty welcome to you both. Uh, Thank Sterling, you. Uh, uh, for our audience, uh, so in case they didn't know, it wrote uh, the uh, Towering Inferno and the Poseidon Adventure. And Tiana, you have a picture coming up too that we might as well talk about right this moment. Yes, it's my first picture. And it's called? The Killer Elite with, with James Kahn. Yes, I knew that. I was in San Francisco when you were shooting that, so watch for that one. Okay. We will be watching for that as well, and winning money today for the red section from MASH. Yes, sirree. Gary Berghoff and his lovely wife, Janet Berghoff. <laughs> well, here we all are, gang. Right, Janet and I are involved uh, with doing a uh, motion picture play called The Towering Poseidon uh, Adventure. Yes. Uh, at the Huntington Hartford. Certainly glad to hear that. And, and uh, something else we have to look forward to is to, you haven't taken your shirt off yet this week, <laughs> and right. we're all looking forward to and it, I'm we've been promised. badly in need of work. <laughs> Here we go, first question worth 150 bucks, fellas. It's for you, and this is it. You're at a dinner party, and we're gonna give you the choice of three dinner partners. One is a famous lady diplomat, one is a famous lady show business critic, and the other is a famous lady call girl. Which, well, what should it be? Uh, which one would you want as a dinner partner? All three interesting types. You're at a dinner party, we're gonna give you your choice of three dinner partners. One is a famous lady diplomat, one is a famous lady show business critic, and the third is a famous call girl. Which one would you want as a dinner partner? Think it over, only for dinner, off they go. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along, Patty, what will John say? This is where we always get into our problems on this show because I always think of what I would like. Yes, you, know? you mustn't do that. No, that's why I always get what I want in our marriage. No. Um, <laughs> uh, see, I would take the diplomat, but I think that raucous John would like the lady. Uh, Call what? girl. Person. That's it, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get that out, could but you? How, are there a lot of famous ones now? Why do you ask me? What? I don't know. What am I, an well, authority? I want to know what the chances are. <laughs> what? I want to know what the chances are. Which, I mean, he might get very logical and figure his chances of having a dinner partner diplomat might be more than... Well, that's one true. One is enough, right? Uh, once is not enough, I've been told. No, uh, I didn't say once. It's a, it's a book. It's a, uh, you're going to say... Gonna I, don't, say I, don't, I don't remember what. Yes, uh, the lady. Call girl yeah, or, or the lady show business critic? Also a good choice. No. Or the we'll, diplomat. We'll, we'll talk about critics later. Okay. You're going to say it's the, it's, the, it's the call person. The call girl. Right. Yeah. Right. I wonder if you that applies here. You mean from an answering service. No, I don't mean, no, I don't mean that. I mean oh, a, a lady right. call person. Enough already, yes. Okay. Bring on, the, bring on the, that fellow now. <laughs> 
John, which, which is it going to be now? You've got your choice of three ladies to sit at, at this dinner party. One is a diplomat, one is a show business critic, and the other is a famous call girl. Which one would you want as a dinner partner? Well, uh, not, <coughs> not wishing to offend either lady uh, critics or <laughs> ladies of the evening, I would prefer the diplomat. No, that's not what, what Daddy said. He's getting he said, more what? like me all the time. Oh, <laughs> this is interesting, you see. Well, hey, see I, I don't changed. understand that. What? Tell her about it, John. Sorry, gang. What, what did you pick, honey? Uh, tell him what you picked. Well, uh, I, I chose I chose the lady of the evening <laughs> or morning or afternoon yeah. or the hooker, uh, whichever you want. Yeah. Uh, because I thought that you would like to hear her uh, colorful her story, stories. Her story. And, and I thought that you see, because I usually want to go with the diplomats and the politicians find out what they're doing. You know. Yeah. Um, ask her. But you're just getting more like me, honey. It's obvious we've been married a long time. Pretty soon I'll grow a mustache. We'll look more alike. <laughs> <laughs> now, when that happens, we'd like you to come back on the show. I Would will. you do that? Thanks. That would be kind of fun. Sorry about that, John. Uh, I, Tiana, what will Sterling uh, say? I am sorry, too, actually. <laughs> well, you know, he's a writer. He's always doing research. We went to Canada, and he called up Xavier Hollander. He did? Yes, he'd take the call, girl. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the one you were trying to think. That's he, the happy hooker. Yes, I know, I know, I know. She's very wise and intelligent. And happy. <laughs> <laughs> she gave it up. <laughs> and diplomatic and sometimes a critic. You'll say... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. You will say... <laughs> you'll say the... Um, what, that yes, one, the call right, person. Let's bring, right. let's bring Sterling on. Research. Sterling, you have a choice of three lady dinner partners. One is a diplomat, one is a critic, and one is a call person. Uh, which one of those three would you like, sir, for a dinner partner? Well, I'm in the communications business. Uh, uh, I'd like to learn how to dial a girl. Uh, I think I'd rather uh, sit with a lady who has the girls. Uh, then you mean the call person, the call girl? Is that what you're saying? Call person. Uh, the, the call person. The call person. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that you could be in big trouble if you said call person. You don't know what might show up, right? I mean, you said call person. I know that. I know. You I'm sorry. I don't want to lead you the down track. the wrong path there. Sterling, you're absolutely correct, and you have a share of the pot for the bananas. And, Janet, what will Gary say? Well, it's either the call person or the diplomat. Uh huh. Because Gary is very uh, involved with the government. I mean, he likes to really CIA choose his candidates and, and really, you know. Yes. So I'll take the Working diplomat. Is that right, you know, The CIA, they haven't you read Time and News? Yes, that's they right. They found all these girls sure. that were... Yeah, I was a hooker for the government, I think, is what <laughs> was the, of the title of one of the articles I read. Okay, you're going to say which one, though? Diplomat. The diplomat. Yeah. The lady diplomat. Let's bring Gary on and see. Gary, which one of those uh, three ladies will you have as a dinner partner? The diplomat, the uh, uh, lady of the evening, or the lady show business critic? Well, it's a toss-up between all three. <laughs> 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 they all have to prostitute themselves once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would say just because of, uh, just because it's, uh, I've had dinner with the other two. I would say the lady diplomat. That's it. You got it. Oh, interesting. You're absolutely correct. Um, you have. Uh, you really have had dinner with the with the other two, huh? Well, I don't. I don't know about the uh, lady of the evening. We have an unlisted uh, number. Oh. <laughs> I never I, know when I'm talking to I one. I figured or not. you'd bail out of there. <laughs> Janet and Gary, Tiana and Sterling split the pot in half to start things off. We'll come back in a moment. There's some more pots and some more splitting. Come on back.